right. All right. Welcome, UAW family. It's good to be here. Good to see all of you out here doing what we're going to be doing for the next several months because we got one objective now. You know, we just had our recent meeting. We had our national cap. A lot of you were there. There's one plan we have going forward, and that's to keep Joe Biden as our president. That's right. And you guys know, I don't have to spell this out for you because all of you know this, you know, but this is our message going forward. We know who's been there for labor, and we sure as hell know who wasn't. It's a very clear choice in this election. It's a very simple choice for all of us in this election. You know what the hell is going to happen if this man's not president, because we've seen what happened. Labor went backwards. Working class people went backwards. The poor went backwards. Everybody suffered. So this is our shot, this is our time, this is our mission from this day forward. We're going to fight like hell, and we're going to ensure that Joe Biden's the next president so that the working class keeps moving forward. So with that, so with that, I want to introduce the President of the United States our candidate, our guy, the man who stood with us in our big three fight, and a man that continues to stand with us in our future fights. Brothers and sisters, UAW family, let's welcome President Joe Biden. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Supporting you is the easiest thing I've ever done. Not a joke. I, uh, I was raised uh, on GM. <laughs> My dad managed the dealership, didn't own it, managed it. And uh, in Delaware, we used to have the highest percentage of auto workers of any state in the nation because we're a small state. We had the largest GM facility and the largest Chrysler facility outside of Detroit. And we, that's how I got through school. That's how we all made it. But look, folks. I'm going to be brief because I know you have been doing a lot of work here. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know that old expression in a little town I grew up in in Delaware called Claymont, Delaware. You all are the ones that brung me to the dance. And I never left you. I never left you. <laughs> to me, it's a basic, basic thing, and I mean this sincerely. You know, Wall Street didn't build the middle class. Labor built the middle class. And the middle class built the country. Really. And when labor does well, everybody does well. No, no, I'm not just saying it. I know I'm the most pro-union, you know, anyway. I won't go into all that. But the reason I say it is true. I asked the Treasury Department to do a study on the impact of unions on wealth and society. The single biggest reason why we have unions are growing, the single biggest reason why the economy is growing, because you are the best workers in the world. That's not hyperbole. No, you really are. You really are. And when labor does well, everybody does better. You, you even got non-union shops to raise. <laughs> they owe you. They owe you. Folks, look, this is uh, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm only going a little, just a little bit more. There used to be a theory called trickle-down economics. No, I mean, a Democrat and Republican presidents that here do it for a long time. It was that if the wealthy do very well, the whole economy will grow and all trickle down. Well, not a whole hell of a lot ever trickled down on my dad's kitchen table. No, I'm serious. Not a joke. And I've always believed you give us some, everybody an even shot at a job, they want to do it. They'll do it, and they'll do it well. And you are the best trained. You are the best workers in the world. I'll give you one example. 
I was in, I, was, I decided that I had to do something in the first year because remember all those computer chips weren't available for the cars? And was, well, I got in a plane and against the advice of many, including some of my own folks, I went to South Korea and I met with Samsung and I met with the president of South Korea. And I said, why don't we used to have, we invented the damn chip. No, we did. We refined it. We used to have 40 percent of those chips we made. I said, why don't you invest in America? He said, we're going to invest in America. Invested $100 billion in America. Guess what? Excuse me, $50 billion invested by these guys. Well, I said, why are you coming to America, Samson? He said, two reasons. One, I give him my word. You have the best workers in the world. No, no, that's not a joke. The best in the world. And, and secondly, it's the safest place in the world for me to make my investment. And folks, look, we now have, in large part because of you and organized labor, the strongest economy in the whole damn world. We do. We do. In the whole world. Inflation's coming down. Jobs are growing. We created 800,000 manufacturing jobs. Remember they told us we were dead, manufacturers dead in America? China was going to eat our lunch. Well, guess what, man? We don't taste that good. So look, folks, I really mean it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the whole country owes you. They really owe you. And I tell you a guy I owe. I owe this guy named Sean. He stood up. He gets it. No, no, no. He gets it. Hey, come here. Come here. I really mean it. Because when we got all these numbers moving and, we, we, and you guys endorsed me, he talked about a simple thing. He said, this is about giving people a shot. That's all it is. It's just fairness. Give people a shot. That's what you do. That's what you do. And besides, you built my 67 Corvette. <laughs> my pride. Any of you ever watched Jay Leno's Garage? You watch me race on my, my 67 Corvette? It's only a 327, 350. I tell you what, man, I got up to 130 miles an hour, though. Secret Service doesn't like riding with me very much anymore. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you're not only helping auto workers, you're helping every worker in the world. You really are. You're the best workers in the world. That's not hyperbole. And I learned a long time ago, last comment I'll make. I've been doing this a long time. I know I don't look like I'm 40, but I'm 40. <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, but 40 times two. But the thing is that, you know, There's a provision in the law that was passed during Roosevelt's time about the big fight was could unions organize them. That was a big issue. It not only said unions could organize, it said we should encourage the union movement. That's what it says in the law. It says one other thing. When the President of the United States is given money by the United States Congress to spend, whether it's an aircraft carrier or a highway or any public event, they should do two things. One, this is what the law says. One, they should hire American workers. Two, they should use American products. And you can make an exception if you didn't have a worker for a particular job or a project or the material, you could hire somebody else. But guess what? For the longest time, we didn't pay attention to it. I pay attention to it. That's why we're growing. Made in America by Americans. That's why we're the best in the world. And you're the best. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta trust, give it time. Come here, Gov. Come here, Gov. Turn to turn the mic off? I'm not, I'm not gonna turn the mic off when I got the best governor in the country standing next to me. Senator, come here. 
and a great senator as well. And a woman you never know before. She's very quiet. <laughs> she, she, she never tells me her opinion bluntly. Like, Joe, get the hell over here quickly. Move. You know Debbie Dingle. She's a fighter for her. She's a fighter for her. <laughs> Your lieutenant governor. If I get first pick for a team, he's my guy. And I don't know. Speaker of the House. I'm just about to introduce this speaker. You think I'm a... I'd be scared to death not introducing this speaker. He's my kind of guy. As I told him when I met him the first time, he looks like he can still play. I was a pretty... I was a runner-up in a state championship football scoring when I was a kid. If I had this guy running in front of me, I could have been an All-American. Could have been an All-American. Anyway. Thank you all very, very, very much. Thank you.